When Rob Pine quit the Labor Party in March, some supporters saw it as the ultimate betrayal. Can you put someone in a wheelchair twice? Hang this grub for treason. The now independent MP lashing out at what he calls an ongoing campaign of hatred and vilification. How they would feel if it was their wife in tears, how they would feel if their 18-year-old daughter was scared to leave the house. The Electrical Trades Union and its supporters are behind most of the attacks. I feel sorry for his family for the, for the sake that they have to hang around the, the man. The man's a rat. He made that choice when he ratted. The ETU printing this shirt to be worn at a conference Mr Pine will be attending in Sydney this weekend. It's not ashamed or apologising. The man is a rat and he's a self-confessed rat. Uh, and the lies he told today about us attacking his family are lies. Mr Pine has previously mocked the rat title in Parliament. Hey, the correct term is rat, so get it right, pass the cheese. That's fair enough, but it doesn't really uh, excuse um, the language and the hatred and vitriol. The Cairns MP says the attacks have made him rethink his political career. It's certainly, um, certainly that thought has crossed my mind. Will the Premier now cut the extensive ties between your government and this thuggish union, the ETU? There is absolutely no way that anyone uh, in this House would support any of those personal attacks. But some MPs have liked the posts on social media and in the past shared some choice words of their own. The opposition today questioning whether the police should get involved. If the member for Cairns has those sorts of concerns, I encourage him to make the appropriate complaint to Queensland Police Service. What he won't do is quit. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.